Good afternoon, everyone. Heinrich Spensmark, Galactic Cosmic Rays, responsible for increasing cloud formation. So as his research has pinpointed, low solar activity creates more clouds on our planet. So we would start to look for clues like Caribou, Maine, 116 days with at least over a foot of snow. California snow water equivalent off the charts. Record drought to no more drought in a matter of one year. 205% average of the snowpack. Seattle, Tacoma, Washington, wettest February in 120 years. Medford, highest recorded snowfall. That's since 1919. 600 chickens massacred in the Sagaing hailstorm in Myanmar, middle of the dry season. Heaviest snow in 30 years in Gulf in Xinjiang in China. These events definitely pinpoint to Spensmark's work being correct. And while you're watching the channel, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and join me on many Ice Age conversations on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, and SoundCloud. For those of you unfamiliar with Heinrich Spensmark, you definitely need to check out his work on galactic cosmic rays being responsible for increases in cloud formation during grand solar minimums. The movie and documentary is called The Cloud Mystery, focusing on when low solar activity allows more cosmic rays in to ionize in the atmosphere, creating yet another low cloud layer, if you will, on the planet. Now looking at stratospheric radiation, a 12.5% increase up to August 2016. Now these low clouds form between 15 and 18,000 feet. We're looking for signs of higher precipitation, whether it be rainfall or snowfall, and also electrical activity. When we take a look at the inactive sun, Joe Nova, also following the science of less ozone in the stratosphere, which allows the troposphere to push out and rise collapsing around the poles, the tropopause. This also increases the intensity of the electrical storms as well as the ferocity of the winds. Just in this last week, Caribou, Maine, 116 day all-time record with days over a foot of snow. Now days with 20 inches of snow depth, still in the top five. California snow water equivalent that 2017 is definitely anomalous sticking out as it does straight up. Also, they just had another arc storm come in, more snow. And if we look at the California Precipitation Index from 1895 to 2016, you see that large spike at the very far right of the chart. You only see that a couple other times through the last 120 years or so. Let's start over in 2011, dry, 2015, mega drought, IPCC saying it's going to be forever, so let's tax you and you need to stop driving and pay the world government money. But then March 2017, the drought's gone. I guess they need to refund your taxes. And I love the USIEA record precipitation, one of the wettest winters on record, but Weren't we told by Noah that it was going to just dry into infinity and this was going to be a never-ending drought? Massive snowpack increase, 205%. That means double. And going back to the same report, the snowpacks go from almost zero levels to 158% in the middle of March. And then they had these massive increases in the last arc storms. California snow water equivalent in the visual form here. From drought to excess. Staying on the west coast, Seattle, Tacoma, Washington, wettest in 120 years. That is more since the Dalton minimum. February and March break the record. And then this eclipses even the 2014 record, and you start to see that there's a trend right here. Wettest all time in 2014, now another record surpassing even that. But I love how in the article, oh, the Pacific Northwest winters are projected to become warmer and warmer and warmer because of global warming and drier. Guess they got that wrong. Staying in Oregon, that bright green star to the very south there on the California border. Medford, 
highest snowfalls in almost 100 years, 1919. This time the old record was beaten by a full three inches. So that's a 25% increase. Here's an interesting one for you talking about increases in cloud cover. 600 chickens massacred in Sagaing region in Myanmar. Hailstorms. Not that unusual during the monsoon season, but this is April dry season. Not expected to have heavy hail during this time. Nor in Xinjiang, China. Most snow in over 30 years. 60,000 farm animals either killed, starving to death, or lost in the snow. They put the totals at around a meter thick. Completely unheard of. Even the weather forecasters are calling this a rare phenomenon. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. And when you have a minute, jump over to Trade Genius. Talk to Bob Kudla. He's following the grand solar minimum changes in our crop production and also trading on this strategy. He'll be happy to talk to you. TradeGenius.co. And as we progress further into the depths of the grand solar minimum, you can just expect to start seeing more records like these being set again and again and again. And they're going to try to explain it on evaporating oceans. When you need look no further than Heinrich Svensmark in the cloud mystery to explain all these events.